for Sean and the Dead. It's the PlayStation 20th anniversary. 20 years of PlayStation. Good God, man. It's, it's been that long of all those games I've played. And today it's PS Plus Games to so finally come here for us UK people. The Americans had them yesterday, those lucky chaps. But anyway, we've got Injustice, Gods Among Us, Titan Attacks, and this gen, Secret Ponchos. And my God. I'm really, really enjoying this game. Now, yes, it's an indie game. And if you're one of those people like, Oh, no, indie games. Oh, indie games are shit. Who plays indie games? It's all about to play. If you're one of those people, you need to slap yourself around the face and get some sense. Because indie games are usually damn sight better than AAA games. And this is one of them. It is so much fun. I and mean, it's free. Free this month on PlayStation Plus. What more could you ask for if you're one of those people? Maybe a AAA game? You're getting that too. You're getting Injustice Gods Among Us. So shut the fuck up complaining. Here we are. Anyway, Secret Ponchos. What is it? What is it? Well, you may be asking that question right now. What is it, Sean? Tell us about the game. Is it good? What's it about? What do you do? Well, what do you do? It's a Wild West shooter. You have about five or six characters to choose from. You can, they have all different abilities. You know, this one's like, he's like the Lone Ranger. He's got a revolver and a knife. You can throw a knife at someone and impale them. And then shoot them repeatedly. It's always fun to do. Or you got a dual wielding guy. Girl, I'm not too sure, but she has. He's got two guns and shoot people with them and throw dynamite. Or he plays like a, a an old like poncho-esque dude who's got like a shotgun and he can whip people with his whip. Yeah, the phantom poncho. Ooh, very nice. It's also online only. Yes, there's no single player mode in this. You have to play against other people. Other people in the world. As we probably do in most games these days. But what's good about it is is that everyone has their own little cowboy names. And some of them are damn right shit. But I like to try and live it up a bit. I try and name my cowboys in a, in, you know, I, I, I try and get creative as I can with some of my cowboy names. I don't know, that's just me. You know, like El Dorado, Jim Carolina, or Timmy J. Smith, stuff like that. I try to make him sound cowboy. I don't know, that's just me. But it, it's, anyway, it's, 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 it's a good game. There's a slight learning curve. You've got to get used to the controls and the pace of the game, because it's quite fast paced. Especially in free for all, when there's eight of you shooting the hell out of everyone. And you have some really cool uh, moments where you just have standoffs with three people. And you just don't know who the hell to shoot first. And it can, be, it, it can be quite intense, it can be, it's extremely fun, especially with friends, because you've got split screen co-op, you can have you know, up to four players, I think, uh, in local, I believe. Um, you know, and online, it can be up to eight. There's domination, there's uh, 1v1s and uh, 2v2s and team deathmatch and all that. Uh, there's uh, about, about, I think there's seven, seven maps uh, as well. Uh, and, and they said they're bringing more DLC and more crazy stuff in future updates, whether it be free or paid for, I don't know. I have noticed that there are like alternative costumes you can buy on the store. Not available yet, but apparently you'll be able to do that eventually. But yeah, it is a really good game. It's fast, it's frantic. If you like what you see, it's definitely worth a download. Heck, I'd have happily paid money for this. It, look, it is great fun. Um, the only downside, matchmaking takes a little while, but that's expected. Most games I always have issues with matchmaking on day one, although it works. I've not had any serious problems with the game, uh, which is quite nice, you know, and it, you eventually do get into certain games. And I'm hoping people will support this game, because I will. I, I'm actually very much enjoying this. And also, what you do you, uh, when you win matches, if, if you're really good at it, I'm bloody awful, but if you win matches, you're in a bounty, and uh, there's a bounty on your head, and as it increases, you can unlock more uh, power-ups for your character, like abilities where increased damage, health, stamina, regeneration, things like that. Uh, but yeah, it's great fun, uh, definitely worth it. So, so just go out and download it now, uh, buy a PlayStation 4 and download it, that's what you should have done already if you haven't. Uh, it's definitely a good month, it's a good year, it's, next year's going to be amazing, I can't wait to see what the PlayStation experience this weekend Oh, there's so much happening. Anyway, crikey, it's the end of the video. We've got there. Um, I don't know now. I suppose I've got to go. I can't really keep talking until the video's ended. That'd be just stupid, wouldn't it? Anyway, until next time, I'm Sean and the Dead. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.